Hi everybody, my name is Caroline and thank you for joining me for this video. This video is a part two of a two part series on Mango Mirror. Last week I showed you how to install and configure Magic Mirror on your Android device using your iOS device as a controller. And that was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed that project. If you missed it, I will link to it below. And on my screen here, I am showing you the Mango Mirror as the screens uh, scroll around. And these are the different screens that I created last time. I hope you enjoyed that. And I am going to turn that off now. In this week's video, we are going to do a similar project, but with my Raspberry Pi, an HDMI monitor, and a motion sensor. And the motion sensor allows your display to go to sleep when you're not standing in front of it, and then it will wake up uh, when it senses motion from your motion sensor. And let's get started. The materials you'll need for this project include, you will need your laptop computer, of course you'll need your Raspberry Pi, you'll need a micro SD card, 16 gigabyte for your Raspberry Pi. I'm also going to use an adapter that fits right into my micro SD card uh, so that it'll fit in my computer. I'm using my computer to load the image onto my micro SD card, which will go into my Raspberry Pi. I am going to use a motion sensor. Now this is totally an optional component of this project. You don't need a motion sensor. I'm going to show you how to do this with a motion sensor. And you will need three jumper cables. These are female to female jumper cables. You will also need your HDMI monitor, HDMI cable, power to your HDMI monitor, and also power to your Raspberry Pi. We are at bangomirror.com. I will link to all of this below. And this is the homepage for Mango Mirror. Now, you're probably asking, why are they doing this? This software is free. I am downloading the software for free today. Why are they doing this? Two reasons. Number one reason, they're trying to sell their own Magic Mirror that works with this software. And let's see, I can show you their Smart Mirror right here. It is $399 and you can buy it right off their website. I also saw it on Amazon. I'm sure it's available on other sites as well. That is a little bit outside my budget for creating YouTube videos at this point. I am not going to do that. We're gonna do a different version. We're gonna do the Raspberry Pi version this week. Uh, that's, version, that's reason number one, they're offering this software for free, in my opinion. Of course, I'm representing myself on my YouTube channel and not the opinions of Mango Mirror. And the other, reason they're offering this solution up for free is because they are also they also have all these health solutions that are a premium on their software so the software the initial base software is free uh, but to get your um, to see your health solutions on the screen now let's get started with the actual raspberry pi here so we are going to go to apps and as i showed you last week the controller is ios i will review that uh, just briefly here coming up and then our display, we did Android last week. Our display for this week is Raspberry Pi. Click on Raspberry Pi. And then, yes, the Raspberry Pi software is free. Excellent, thank you. And we're gonna scroll down. And there are three simple steps. Excellent. Download Mango Display for Raspberry Pi. Here we go. I'm gonna hit Download Now. And this will take just a few seconds for it to download. Now, while it's downloading, let's go over to Etcher. Uh, it is now bolina.io etcher, and this is also a free download as well. So you do need this piece of software, Bolina Etcher, for this to work. Now I've already downloaded Bolina Etcher. I use this in a lot of different videos. Fire that up, and it's going to be ready to go here. Uh, so I'm going to wait until this finishes downloading, and then I'll be right back. And we have finished downloading the Mango OS. Now I'm going to go into my Finder, go into my Downloads. I'm going to double-click it and it is going to expand this zip file. It'll just take a second for it to do that. Um, also, while I'm waiting for that to happen, by the way, I need a little holder. I'm gonna use this holder for my micro SD card to uh, put it into my computer here in a second. Here's my micro SD card and the little sleeve, the little adapter, and then I'm going to just pop it into my computer right here. Hopefully you can see that. And here's the little adapter 
in my computer. Now I'm going to go to Belina Etcher on my computer, select my image, and in downloads here is my image. Hit open. Then I'm going to make sure I'm selecting the right device. Yep, this is it. Continue. This is going to take a few minutes to flash, so I will be right back. In this step, we are removing the micro SD card from our computer. It's in a little sleeve. Remove it from the sleeve. This is the micro SD card. We've got a Raspberry Pi here. I'm going to flip it over and you want to insert your micro SD card label side up. And that is how you insert your micro SD card into your Raspberry Pi. In this step, we are hooking up our PIR sensor to our Raspberry Pi 3, and there are three connections on the back of the PIR sensor, and I'm just gonna put one cable per connector in the back of this PIR sensor. And let's start with the ground pin, and this is the ground pin. It is going to pin number six on our Raspberry Pi, which is the third one down on the right. Next, we're going to the out, which is pin number 11. And last but not least, we need to connect it to the VCC, which is pin number two. And that's it for hooking up the PIR sensor to the Raspberry Pi. And this is an optional step. And now we have the micro SD card inserted into our Raspberry Pi. We have the PIR motion sensor installed. Now I am going to plug in the HDMI cable from my HDMI monitor here. And last but not least, and my monitor is already on, uh, otherwise you'll need to power up your monitor and then I just need to plug in the power supply to my Raspberry Pi right here and let's see it boot up. Now I see on my screen up here that now I need to go into my Mango OS iOS app on my phone here. And now based on this screen on my HDMI monitor on my Raspberry Pi, I need to go into my iPhone and go into the Mango Mirror app. And then I'm going to add my Mango display on Raspberry Pi. I'm searching, uh, there it is, new mirror. I'm gonna hit the plus button right there. And it is connecting. And it is a Bluetooth connection between my phone and the Raspberry Pi for now until I get the Raspberry Pi on my Wi-Fi network. Congratulations, I have a new mirror now and I'm going to rename this mirror RPI. You can name it anything you want to. Hit next and then I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi network and type in my password. And now I have my Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna hit general settings and I should have a clock and if you watched my video last week with the Android, all I have to do is hit the plus button and then I want to add the weather, for example. I'm going to add today's weather, 24 and five day forecast. I'm going to hit save. And now I'm waiting for my HDMI monitor to come back up and show you all this magic. And now you see the time, the date, and the weather all on my Mango Mirror screen. And you can configure it just like I showed you last week. And I am in my iOS Mango Mirror controller app on my iPhone. I'm going to hit plus and let's see, I can add a screen and I can add quotes on this screen. And you saw this last week and I can add uh, notes. Let's add a note here, add a note, test. This is Caroline. Hit save and I'm going to hit save and let's watch it scroll through these things. The, the default is 30 seconds. So I can change this down to, I think I, I changed it down to five or six seconds last time. I hit done. Uh, there it is. Uh, you saw a quote right here. And with this motion sensor I have right here, let's look at settings. And display timeout is now set to one minute. If I set it to 10 seconds, I think that's the minimum right there. I can display timeout. Then it will automatically turn off if there is no motion for 10 seconds. And you see it cycle through my screens. And I did have to reboot the Raspberry Pi for, for this to work. A small disclaimer here, this Mango Mirror is still in beta right now. And 
your results may vary. If it doesn't work the first time, I would recommend just continuing to uh, trial and error until this, you do get it working. I hope you enjoyed learning about Mango Mirror on the Raspberry Pi with a motion sensor today. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.